I appreciate the question, even though, again, Gavin and I were joking backstage about um, how this is a, a primary like I've never seen yeah, before, yeah. where um, you know every time he, were, he and I are both big on social media, but every time I post a you know pro Hillary thing, I get the Bernie backlash. I'm feeling the burn, basically, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, like I've never seen before. I know, I'm like, I know. Uh, and I'm accused of things that I've uh, in a, that I've I've just I'm, I'm sort of surprised in it. So let me just be very <laughs> blunt um, about two things. So first. Second, I'll tell you why I'm endorsing Hillary Clinton, but just please understand. So for, for a guy who uh, for two years now in the Senate has, um, I'm proud of a lot of things I've accomplished in the Senate from major infrastructure accomplishments uh, for the busiest river crossing in America is the Hudson River and its infrastructure is failing. Made a lot of progress on that. I can go on the things I'm proud of, but this has been, if anybody knows me in the Senate, this has been one of the issues I've been fighting about since I got there. and. You know, everybody, uh, ha there's so many people with, with dirty hands of the past. Um, the Congressional Black Caucus supported the, the crime bill, uh, the 1994 crime bill. Um, Bernie Sanders voted for the 1994 crime bill. And so to make it about uh, Hillary Clinton versus Bernie Sanders, uh, you know, there's an urgency everywhere. Like, it, it, this, this issue's not new. I mean, Senator Sanders in his state has... Um, barely 1% black people in his state. Um, and, and, and yet his prison population, uh, the prison population of Vermont is over 10% black. And, and so these issues of racial disparities, these issues of um, uh, grievous waste of, of human potential and waste of taxpayer dollars uh, have been going on for a long time in the Senate. And, and my, my issue and urgency um, is not to point fingers of blame um, it, but take responsibility for being joining with others to, to solve it. And if that is uh, Rand Paul and uh, and Mike Lee uh, or or Bernie Sanders and and the, the Congressional Black Caucus who's united to change this, then I'm going to join with them. But to use this right now as an issue, um, I think that uh, the history that I have of dealing with this when I was an Obama supporter in 08, and the Clintons still were reaching out to me when I was mayor. Uh, about this issue and how to unravel the problems uh, that Hillary Clinton, before this was being talked about by the, the, the Sanders campaign, uh, she made her very first policy speech. I, I've seen the polls on this. This ain't the top issue on, on people's minds, but her very first policy speech was about criminal justice reform, and her office consulted my office uh, on the policy. So. Uh, going down to why I support Hillary Clinton, it's really two reasons. One, when I sat down with her before this election heated up, and I, uh, this is one of those weird elections where I know most of the people well who are running for president. Oh uh, what's that? No, I, I didn't bring up Ted Cruz, but go on. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I, I went to Oxford with Bobby Jindal. I sat on a board with Jeb Bush. I... Uh, past legislation with Ted Cruz. I've got legislation with Marco Rubio. Um, most of the people running, I, Chris Christie and I, uh, uh, I can write a dissertation on my disagreements with the man, but we worked very closely, uh, very closely together. Um, so I know the field very well, including the two Democratic candidates. And I'm gonna tell you unequivocally, uh, uh, when you have a policy conversation with Hillary Clinton, um, she knows the subject matter, no matter what the passions are of mine. Um, and so, and so, understand this. I come at this from a guy who who, who sleeps, goes home. My house is in an urban core in a poor neighborhood, and uh, and I can go through the nuance. So can Gavin. The nuances of urban housing policy, of homeless issues. And when I talk to her about that, she knows these issues. She knows what's worked. She knows what isn't working. She has ideas about new plans and policy. And then on top of that all, she talks to me very specifically about strategies to get things done in a divided Congress, because we ain't going to win the House back in, in, 20, uh, in 2016. And then the other thing that she has, which is a, a very important quantity for me, and I think Gavin and I probably learned this having run cities, the powerfully, and I don't know if you would agree with me, but the, one of the most difficult things I had to learn was hiring. Like, how do you hire people and what do you look for when you hire? And so there's a quality that I found and defined as grit. Hmm. And, and so think of a person in American politics that has had more 
difficulties, hardships from the time that she was First Lady of Arkansas and what they said about her and did to her as she was trying to push uh, urb, uh, public education. Think about her being First Lady, what they, how dare she stand up and, and, and think about policy and say ridiculous things like, oh my gosh, we should have universal health care. Um, and then the attacks she got from the insurance company, she took a failure there, but yet then rises yet again to higher levels of service. They under, I was in the New York area and saw what they tried to do to her to stop her from being United States Senator. I saw what, they, what, the, what happened, we all did, when she ran for president and lost. Every time she gets hit, every time she gets pushed back, she keeps coming back. Every loss, every stumble, she rises again to a higher level of service. And you judge a person most when people aren't watching. And so when she, now I know a lot about her when she was Secretary of State and, and what she was doing around this globe to deal with issues that we don't talk about enough, whether it was the, the gentle mutilation of women and what she did to fight for that, standing up in China and fighting uh, for women's rights, going to places like the African sub-Saharan continent and talking about economic empowerment of women. And so I... I so, wait, wait, Sue, so you are running for vice president. Uh, <laughs> is that what it... I knew something was up. This book tour, the, there's something going on, Booker. I'm on to you.